Hey there, today I want to talk to you about weird desires that are created by books. And I'm not talking about the desire to go to Hogwarts or the desire to be a shadow hunter or whatever desires books create in us, because that's the positive kind of desires. It's not the weird thing that I'm thinking of right now. So what I'm thinking of today is if a book makes you want to do things like really seriously in your real life, which you normally wouldn't. And I chose three books of my collection that had or have this weird effect on me. And so the first book I want to tell you about is The Life of Pi. When I read this book, I was so engulfed in the story. Oh, light changing. Um, I was so engulfed in the story that at the time on the boat, when he's eating this raw fish, I just felt like I wanted to eat raw fish. I was craving raw fish. And now I have to tell you this, I don't even like sushi. I eat vegetable sushi, I eat chicken sushi, but I never touch raw fish sushi. Raw fish is something I would never touch. And reading this book just made me crave for it. It was insane. Another book that had this kind of weird effect on me was Looking for Alaska. And to understand this is you have to know I don't like smoking. I don't smoke. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life, not even had like one puff of a cigarette. But when I was reading this, I found myself waking up one day and craving a cigarette. And I don't know where that came from because I don't want to smoke. I don't even like smoking. I am physically incapable of smoking. And yeah, I don't know. I was so badly craving a cigarette that I was tempted to borrow one of my friends. I didn't though, but. I think these books show great writing if they can make me desire things that I normally really wouldn't do. The next craving I have, or it's not really a craving for something that I wouldn't do, it's, it's more like a bad effect this book has on me. And you'll be surprised if I say it's the gargoyle because you know I love the book. But every time I read the book, I feel tempted to get a tattoo. I, I really don't know why. Well, basically I do. Marianne Engel, the main character, she has tattoos all over her body. And I have to say, if I hadn't had a tattoo on my back already when I read this book first, I'd have angel's wings on that right now. So this is not craving for something that I wouldn't do, but it's just a weird desire that every time I read the book, I want to get a tattoo, which actually makes me not want to pick up the book at the moment because I don't feel like getting a new tattoo or I don't even know where or what. So now you know the weird cravings that books can create in me. Do you have a similar experience? Could you pick out a book from your shelf and say like, oh, when I read this, I wanted this and I really didn't want this before. I'm curious to hear about your hidden desires that the books provoked and brought to the surface. Tell me in comments or make a video response. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. My name consists of five letters, Nuria, and U-R-I-A.